Welcome back, folks. It is 510 on this terrific Tuesday evening. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's talk weather right now as we take a look outside at America's Mattress Live Tower Cam. We've got some clouds. We've got some overcast skies. And as we get throughout the rest of this evening, we will continue to have these clouds. And waking up tomorrow as well, still looking at a little bit of some overcast skies for those daytime hours. Now, our weather headlines are going to show us here in the valleys. We're expecting warm temperatures through the work week, 5, 10, even 15 degrees above those seasonal averages. Southern areas, though, San Juan regions, even pushing to Alamosa, are expecting snow starting late tonight and carrying on at least until Thursday morning, which means dangerous road conditions, specifically if you're headed down to those Durango areas, Million Dollar Highway as well is looking on that dangerous side of things. So we'll notice our weather warnings through San Juan County as well as those surrounding regions pushing towards that front range along that southern border. We'll stay with that active at least until Thursday at 11 a.m. Now, I do want to chat about Montrose right now as we take a look outside down there. We've got a a little bit of some snow coverage, a little bit of some snow accumulation in those hills and in those mountaintops. We do have that chance for all these storms to maybe push up just a little bit to get some more snow accumulation, at least in those areas above about 6,000 feet through Montrose and maybe even a little bit of some rain and snow pushing towards Delta and Grand Junction. But with all this in mind, like I said, you probably don't want to head down to those southern regions. But if you do, slow down. Please check, check cotrip.org to make sure and just check on those driving conditions. And of course, pack patience. Be cautious to those drivers around you. We'll notice taking a peek into tomorrow, this is how this moisture is going to start to move on in and linger just a little bit through those southern and central mountains during the morning hours where that moisture is moving in. And then actually with this southerly flow, with this low pressure pushing in a lot of this moisture. We'll get widespread showers through that front range and of course pushing through Gunnison, pushing through Monarch Pass, Alamosa, and of course in that southeast corner of Colorado through the Panhandle is where we're expecting a little bit of some rain. Tomorrow evening though we'll notice that still over the San Juans a hefty amount of that moisture is here to stay and a little bit of that moisture could again move its way on up a little bit more northward to give us some rain, some snow here in the valleys, even through Monticello and Moab that could possibly be expected. And in terms of rain, this is where we're going to see the bulk of it, usually over the Panhandle area, over that eastern border of Colorado as well, but still just slight chance for it more locally. Our future cast will show overcast skies looking into, well, the next couple hours. Wednesday, 3 p.m., though, those uh, moistures, those storms will start to move on through over Crested View, Aspen, and Gunnison. Fast forward Wednesday, 6 p.m., that's when we have that slight chance for moisture. Fast forward again, 10 p.m., starting to kind of move on out of the region. And by those Thursday morning hours is where we are just expecting clouds as, well, all those storms have moved out of the region. Snow potential as we take a little bit of an expanded look will mostly be focused again San Juan's six, eight, even actually double digit uh, accumulations, possibly 20 inches could be seen, but just how much we'll notice up to an inch in Grand Junction in Montrose, same in Glenwood, Crested Butte up to five, Gunnison up to three, Wolf Creek up to 14, and Telluride looking at five to 10. Discovery Auto Group's seven day forecast will show upper 40s more locally though, and through the weekend, still hanging around with those sunny skies and above average temperatures. Montrose, few degrees cooler, mid 40s seen at least until Saturday.